Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our first science video of the year. We are going to be talking about mixtures and solutions. Um, this is a really fun thing to me. I like mixtures and solutions because there's a lot of experiments that you can do even at home to see the difference between the two. Um, I'm even going to give you some recommendations of ones that you can do at home so you can have some fun hands-on stuff with your family this weekend. Um, we're going to start with what a mixture is. A mixture is two or more different materials mixed together, but they can be separated by hand using tools. So for instance, you have examples like toss salad, M&Ms, even though they're all the same material, you can separate them by color trail mix you can easily pull out by hand the different components of trail mix and put the M&Ms in one place the peanuts in the another maybe if you've got dried cranberries or raisins you can separate those materials paper clips all of you have seen my giant container of paper clips these are all these are different sizes this is a mixture because i can separate the small paper clips from the extra large paper clips that I have in this mixture. Even my pen cup that I keep on my desk is a mixture. There are different types of pens, markers, my staple remover, scissors, um, sharpies. All of this can be separated by hand. I can pull these pens out here. I can separate these pens into their own stack. I can take out my felt markers and put them in another stack. Scissors can go here. So you see, I can separate these by hand um, or using a tool. A tool could be like a screen. If you're sifting something, you could separate them by screen, um, which we're going to be working with this week. So as you can see, I've separated my pen cup by hand into different groups of items. So that is a mixture. Everything in my pen cup is a mixture. So let me put all these back. Now let's take a look at an example. You may not have noticed this on my back table, but this is one of my sensory bottles. It's my beach sensory bottle. Inside there are these tiny little blue beads. There are shells, there's sand, and there are different types of shells. This is considered a mixture. You could very easily go through and pick out the individual shells. You could use a screen or a filter to sift out the blue beads, allowing the sand to fall through. So this is considered a mixture because you could use tools or your hands to separate what's in them. So again, just remember a mixture is things that you can use tools or your hands to separate the pieces of. Now let's move on to the one that's a little more fun. This is the one that I I recommend doing experiments with at home because they can they can be done in really easy simple ways. A solution is two or more substances mixed together that can only be separated by evaporation. My best examples are Kool-Aid, salt water and sodas. I highly recommend for you to really be able to see this because it can take some time. Go home and put some Kool-Aid in a container, no lid, some salt water in another container with no lid, and some soda in a third container with no lid. And set up a chart and check it each day. Make your observations. What do you see? As the water in each of them evaporates, how do these three components, these three solutions change. Because as the water disappears, what are you going to be left with with the Kool-Aid? As the water evaporates, what happens when the salt water is then the water is gone? What happens to soda when that water evaporates? So those are the three that I highly recommend that you can do at home. Now for us to kind of create our own solution, I've got a little bottle of water that I didn't quite finish the other day um, and it's just it's just spring water and then I also have um, Mod Podge which is a type of glue most of you probably know what this is if you don't it's used a lot in crafting it's just Mod Podge 
And I am going to very carefully, please do not do this without parent supervision because it can create quite the mess. I'm going to very, very, very carefully pour some of my Mod Podge into the bottle of water. That is if I can get the cardboard off of my Mod Podge because it's kind of solidified over the years. All right, so let's see here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. Now, if you look closely, let me put this up to the camera so that you can see a little bit better. I mean, and I'm gonna make sure I put the lid on really, really tight. If you look closely, you can see that the Mod Podge is kind of floating kind of settling. It's not quite fully mixing together. There's a better view of the Mod Podge. So now I'm just going to shake it. Now if we look at this, I have a solution because I have Mod Podge that has been mixed with water. I cannot separate this by hand. I can't just open the bottle, pour it out and separate it. I would have to pour this out into a container, let it sit, and let the water evaporate in order to get the water in the Mod Podge to separate. So this is a perfect example of a solution. All right, well, the rest of this week, you're going to be experimenting with mixtures and solutions. Um, you will be using gravel, you'll be using something called diatomaceous earth, which is a really powdery fine substance. Um, you'll also be using salt to create mixtures and solutions, and you're going to be experimenting with how to separate them. Um, so please feel free to come back and look at this video if you need the reminder of the definitions or reminders of the examples. And have a great week, everybody. I'm excited to see what you come up with.